two, and one. So everyone, once again, my name is Noel Walsh with NWNA Sales Training. Y'all had the opportunity to meet me earlier. Some of you were in my presentation in the classroom earlier. Today we're going to do a walk around on four different vehicles, the four vehicles that Mike had wanted me to, to go over with you, your, your most popular vehicles. And I figured we'd start off with the, the brand new 2020 Escape which has completely new powertrains. This model right here has the 1.5 liter three cylinder engine with over 180 horsepower. It comes in both a front wheel drive and an all wheel drive model. In the front wheel drive, you're gonna get a little better gas mileage, but you still get very comparable gas mileage in the all wheel drive. As you can see, this here is the SE. It's the middle of the trim line. It's one of the more popular selling trims of this product. This is a brand new color this year. It's the dark Persian green. The thing I like best about this color is you get the opportunity to pick up different colors in the vehicle. In the dark, you see a darker blue. In the light, you see somewhat more of a teal or a green. Ford completely redesigned the body of this as Ford and many other manufacturers are phasing out a lot of their sedans because of lack of sales over the years. What they've done is they've redesigned the whole body. They have new bold headlights right here that give you better visibility when driving in different conditions, snow, weather, sleet, different things like that. You've got the strong Ford badge that hasn't changed for years. You have the honeycomb high gloss grill which gives it a nice appeal, including the brushed silver trim down here that gives it a bold front so people really see you coming. This is completely different. It, to me, appears smaller, but the vehicle is actually longer, wider, but has a shorter stance. So that's how Ford and many other manufacturers are overcoming a lot of people getting away from sedans and their traditional cars is making the sport utility vehicles because people like the utility, they like the hatchback, making them more of the height and ride of a, of a car with still the capability of an SUV. Now with this one here, this one has blind spot in the mirrors. So what that does, when there's somebody in your blind spot, that will turn to an amber light. So you'll know that somebody's in your blind spot when they're coming, so if you, you look over, you don't see them, they're in your blind spot, that will let you know right there. You also have class exclusive to Ford, the keyless entry keypad, that comes with the factory code. You can reset that code. I usually recommend a birthday, house address, last five of a phone number, something that you aren't going to forget. The factory code always does work. You can reset the code, but the factory code always does work. So with this being a middle trim line model, you still have a lot of nice features on it. You still have all your power equipment, power windows, locks, cruise, tilt, power mirrors. What Ford's done in the past, they have made it the 10 o'clock and three o'clock for your steering wheel controls. So you can hold the steering wheel, not take your eye off the road, learn where the buttons are, and be able to adjust your Bluetooth system, navigation system, volume, and many other features. This model has automatic headlamps. If you've had automatic headlamps and you have had a, gotten a vehicle that does not have automatic headlamps, you'll notice you forget to turn the lights off quite a bit, but this does have automatic headlamps. As you can see, this vehicle was made to get the most gas mileage and efficiency out of this model with the aerodynamic mirrors, the bold aerodynamic styling, even the door handles and the door panels are designed to deflect wind off of the vehicle, so therefore you can get optimal efficiency and fuel economy. You have alloy wheels, which are great. Alloy wheels last a long time, they don't pit, and they do well against corrosion, salt, and different envi environmental factors that we face. Touching base on the inside, this is the middle trim line, but you still have some nice features. Two-tone seats, contrast stitching, 10-way power seat along with power lumbar. You have the tilt and telescopic steering wheel. So depending if you're above average height, you're below average height, you can still get the steering wheel to make it comfortable for you and to make it fit like a glove and really kind of design it for how you are. 
Your transmission is different. It is now a, it's a twist knob transmission rather than the old transmission lever. And this is a intelligent four wheel drive system. So this vehicle drives its front wheel drive. It has an intelligent four wheel drive. If it does sense any slipping, it will transfer the power to the wheels accordingly to get optimal traction and still get good fuel economy. You, this model right here, certain models offer auto dimming rear view mirror. This one here has the standard mirror. You just flip that right there. If you do have somebody behind you that is brighting you, nice thing about Ford is you have nice visor lit, which does adjust out also to fight that sun any way that you can. You've got the overhead sunglass eyeglass visor, and you've got the new and improved navigation system with the larger screen sitting up front right there so you do not have to pull your eyes off the road when driving down the road. Very simple ergonomics and electronics on the inside. What I like about the Ford model is they always make everything simple. They lay it out not only with the pictures but also with the, the icons and the words so you know exactly where to put the temperature at you, how you want to make you most comfortable. You've got the 12 volt and the USB right here. This one also has the cup holders right here, two cup holders. Nice center console with a supplemental USB. As we know in vehicles now, we all have our smartphones with us. We're all looking to charge them. So you have multiple options to charge your, your devices. You have cup holders in each door which is great if you like to go on long road trips, you travel a lot for work, it gives you the ability to have a water, a coffee mug, whatever it is you like, great place for your phone, toll tickets, anything that you might have of that nature right there. You do have the assist handles right here, which are great for helping customers in and out of the vehicle. You have the digital temperature on this vehicle and you have a nice size dash, so you, a nice size glove box so you can fit more in there than just your insurance and registration. You can fit service receipts or what have you in there also, so you do have them on hand. One thing I also like about the vehicle is they really styled the inside. They didn't go away from such things as the soft touch plastic, which a lot of manufacturers don't go the extra mile to do. I also like the door panels and the styling that they added on those. Going to the back seat, although it looks smaller, you can fit six golf bags in the back of this, and it also does have more leg room for the front driver and passenger, as well as the rear passenger, along with rear heat and air vents that give you the ability that the person, the people up front do not have to sweat or freeze to make the, the passengers in the back comfortable. If you don't have passengers in the back, you can drop the head restraints down. That gives you better visibility as we're trying to make the vehicles more aerodynamic. Head restraints are a big thing for the National Highway Safety Patrol and administration. And so a lot of times they do take away from our visibility. The nice thing about this is you can easily pop those down. You can pop this up. If you have children, you have the armrest there with supplemental cup holders that will work as a barrier for the children. Also give them extra comfort for your passengers and a place to put their drink. You do have the mat pockets in the back, which is a great place to store things that you may need, especially on a long trip. You have the push fuel cap and the easy fill fuel cap, so therefore you have no fuel cap to deal with. You don't have to worry about getting oil, gasoline, or anything like that on your hands. You can easily pop the easy fuel in right there. Coming around to the back, certain models do have power lift gates. This once again is middle of the line trim level. This vehicle still does come with a spare tire, a little bit smaller than the regular tire, but still fine to go up to 50 miles per hour to get you to a service shop. Now you can see right here you have the funnel. So if you did have to put gas in your vehicle without a gas can, you use this funnel, you're able to put gas in there. They keep that right in the back. You should not run into that problem, but if you do, you do. If you see the styrofoam right here, the styrofoam helps with the enhanced 
Sound quality takes away a lot of the NVH noise, vibration, and harshness to give you a quiet ride and still utilize the space the best you can. Of course, you have the tethers for car seats if you have children. And you can see it's still a nice opening. The hatch is above the average height of a person, so you don't have to worry about hitting your head. Once again, smooth back end with the brushed silver and then the dual muffler tips, which give it that sporty, aggressive look. This model right here, as I said, is the Ford Escape. You've got the badging on the back that lets you know what you're driving. You've got the trim line right here. Not only bigger headlights, but also bigger taillights, which let the people who are behind you have better visibility. I love this color. I love the different looks that you get with the color. I like the power that you get with a small engine and still have the capability to have all-wheel drive if you do happen to live in climates where you do get snow or harsher weather. So to finish off the 2020 Escape, we're going to pop the hood. Oftentimes, most consumers don't pop the hood anymore. They take it into the shop. They have really compacted the engine compartments in vehicles. They do this to keep the structural integrity of the vehicle with the crumple zones. So this vehicle is designed when you do get in an accident, no matter how fast you're going, the front end is, is made to fall down and protect the passenger, their, the driver, the passenger, and their legs up front. Once again, the 1.5 liter EcoBoost over 180 horsepower. And what I like about this vehicle is everything you need to know is in yellow. So anything the average person who just kind of fills their own fluids needs to know is in yellow. So you have everything that you need right here, engine oil, dipstick, washer fluid, radiator coolant, power steering fluid, everything is in yellow. And once again, what Ford was able to do with this model is amazing with the redesign, is amazing. This new engine is very powerful for its size and structure. You also still have the two liter, four cylinder EcoBoost that puts out 250 horsepower. And you also have a 2.5 liter hybrid engine and soon to be a hybrid plug-in that will give you more capabilities. You can get all wheel drive on all of them except the hybrid plug-in and the two hybrid models will have a CVT, a continuous variable transmission, which takes a little bit of getting used to, but with the new eight liter or eight speed transmissions, that's how they're able to get the gas mileage, get the economy in the vehicle and still give you a smooth ride and still give you the power. Once again, Noel Walsh with the 2020 redesigned Ford Escape. Thank you very much.